to back avalanches in just days and the danger is on the rise this weekend. 19 people have been caught in 17 avalanches since last Thursday. Luckily, no one was seriously hurt. The Avalanche Information Center, though, warning there is a great risk of triggering a slide. Good evening. I'm Kelly Worthman. Thank you for joining us after the game. Although it's officially spring, that doesn't mean we're done with snow. In fact, March is on average one of Colorado's snowiest months. The mountains are especially seeing their fair share of snowfall. Your reporter in the mountains, Spencer Wilson, explains the unique situation we find ourselves in right now when it comes to the dangerous avalanche conditions. The Colorado Avalanche Information Center says that within the last week and a half, more people have been caught in avalanches than the rest of the entire season. And there are ways that you can see if you're about to trigger an avalanche. But these recent ones have been kind of sneaky. Like the one on Star Mountain, east of Aspen, a few days ago that buried a skier. And on their way up, the skiers really noted no obvious signs of instability. They weren't seeing shooting cracks. They weren't seeing any collapses in the snow until they triggered an avalanche that nearly killed them. And the frequency is consistent with the upswing in avalanche danger on the forecast. Yes, it's dangerous right now. And really, this is the third incident in the past few weeks where this has been the case. Which is why Becky and her friend got a heads up on their way hiking near Silverthorne, even with just snowshoes. So there was a gentleman gave us a heads up, um, avalanche warning, uh, Buffalo side, not necessarily our side. He said hadn't heard too much about issues going up to lily pads. So we said good because we're <laughs> headed that way. So <laughs> Buffalo Mountain also had people trapped in an avalanche. And thankfully, one of the skiers had an airbag with them to survive the river of snow flowing over top of her. Another on Buffalo just caused someone to slide. But it's a reminder, skiing, snowmobiling, even just hiking. It's the time of year you need to watch what's going on around you, be ready to respond, or rescue, should it come to that. It's not my first thought for sure, but it honestly sounds like it should be. You know what we're gonna tell you right here. Check the forecast on the Colorado Avalanche Information Center website and bring with you, everyone together, probe, shovel, beacon. It can happen even if you are just hiking on a path in the middle of spring. In Silverthorne, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first. And let's go ahead and get a check of that forecast. First alert meteorologist Joe Rook tracking it for us on this Sunday. And Joe, you know, with all that snow we've seen recently, we actually just learned that Eldora is extending its season by a week, making this the longest season ever for that ski resort. 